humans. Hope all is well. So lately we've been doing a lot of videos that are unboxings and uh, like product examinations and testing and all kinds of stuff and like, you know, blogs and whatnot. But I have heard some feedback and I definitely understand and completely agree. We have not done a video where we ask the question, is it worth it? So today's video is going to be about testing out another LED uh, lighting um, product here. Now this is the Minger Dream Color LED light. So it's kind of similar to the one we've already done in the past. Uh, we're gonna be setting this up again on the TV. We're gonna use their Govi at home app to um, check out all the features and whatnot and see what's different and what's uh, you know better about the product. And uh, let's, let's unbox it and find out what's going on. And we're gonna ask that very important question once we're done. So let's go ahead and pull this bad boy open. Now, definitely pretty awesome of Minger to hook us up with this. They uh, legit gave us this product to test out and they want a full honest review. Um, no punches being pulled, but they also want to make sure that you guys have a chance to get your hands on some of these products. So I'm going to be putting some links in my description that allow you to click on like some giveaways and different things like that uh, once you go to their Facebook page. So it's pretty cool. You'll be able to try to get yourself uh, some of the products as well. So uh, definitely a huge thank you for uh, to Minger for um, including all you guys in that. So here is our welcome guide, a little packet here. And then we have our full string of lights let's unbox this bad boy here it's definitely a lot different than the other one that we've looked at so i'm pretty excited to check this out all right a whole bunch of stuff here all right so we have the full string of lights obviously all right, let's take a look yep here it is so there's the actual starting piece and this is the device that powers it all and how it makes the magic happen here so you have this right here and then obviously you have the power port or power box power pack here and you just plug this right in just like normal has a longer cord so that you can keep your remote control which you have this and you obviously oh i'm shaking the camera like crazy didn't even realize um you obviously have this right here which is uh you can you know do the lighting via the remote or you'll have the the app as well which i remember using last time so this is the full string setup here and this is the light up your TV here. So let's take a look at what we got in here. All right, so we have a smaller set as well. And one more here. The final box I am going to ethically fail. This is fact. What'd you guys do today? I watched Josh show me out trying to take tape off a box for 10 minutes. Ah, here we go. And then it looks like we have another lighting set as well. So we have the three lighting sets here, these two little guys right here, and then the larger set right now. So let's take a look at the instructions a little bit here. I imagine they're going to be pretty simple just like last time. Choose the crap. Ah. So you're gonna clean up the dust where you wanna paste the light strip, which I obviously just kinda of peel it off and you put it on, no biggie. Place the cable in the appropriate place, pull back the uh, lamp glue, paste the strip uh, of, of light basically, and tear off the adhesive controller box and place it in a suitable location as well. The light strip and controller connect with power by power adapter complete. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll get this hooked up. Um, I have another TV upstairs I'm going to get this hooked up in. The lighting might not be as amazing, but we're here to be looking at this lighting anyways. Not, uh, you know, fancy schmancy lighting in the office studio here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that Govi app downloaded. Uh, I should actually have it from last time. And then uh, we'll get this all set up on my TV and we'll be good to go. Actually, you know what, before I even go on that, um, what I'll do is I'll get this set up, we'll come back, we'll explore the app a little bit, and then we'll, once we explore the app, you guys can check out some of the features, or we might do that at the end, I'm still debating it. Uh, you will get to see the app explored, and then we'll check out the lighting as well, so stand by. Now you can see my magical bedroom with this terrible lighting here as well. So you can see what I'm doing right now is I am taking the adhesive off a little strip at a time. And that's me taking off the adhesive. And then I am applying it to the back of the TV right here. And then obviously the main device is down here for me to plug in. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to unwind this going all the way around the TV and then we'll uh, check out the lighting after. And this again, terrible lighting. Sorry about that. Alrighty, so we have that all set up now. Oh, you can see the, the bed. Um, we got that all attached, it's all on the back of the TV here. So you can see kind of right here, the strip is all in here and you can see all these little circuits and whatnot, which is where our lighting is gonna come from. So that's all attached and ready to go. Uh, I, I'm not using the app, we're just gonna use standard right now. We're gonna go down here where it's nice and plugged in, and dirty and all that good stuff. And we have our three switches. So this looks like our power button here. Oh yeah. So we just turned it on. We haven't used any of the features yet. You can see all the flashing and crazy lighting and all that stuff going on. So let's take a look and do, see if we can mess around with it a little bit. And then we're gonna, once we do this by hand, we're gonna look at um, using the actual app itself. All right, so this is actually, the middle button here is letting me choose basically fully on the color wheel. To have an awesome background. And this is just kind of the flashy like crazy stuff. And how I want the flashing to be. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Now, a lot of times with these products, they work with the TV's color itself. So let's take a look and see. Oh, dirty mirror. Look at you guys, this is like circa MySpace. Oh yeah, okay, yep. You guys see how the lighting is kind of changing? Let me turn it off. It's kind of adjusting to the lamp and to the light itself. Let's turn this back on here. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to see if I can mess around with it here. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, start examining the app. Okay, so the first thing we did was download the Govi app here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up and take a look. Now we don't have the device added. Uh, we just obviously downloaded it or just got it. So that's service profile, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go up here to the top and we're gonna add the device. And what we're gonna do is find our device, which is this guy right here. This guy right here, and now it's connecting. And we're gonna name it, well, we'll name it Meow. And bam, we have full functionality via our own phone. Now this is my <laughs> backup phone, so obviously uh, I'm gonna download it on my, my current uh, phone, but this is how we're gonna have full functionality on the app, sitting on our beds while we have this product attached to our TVs. You can attach it to your walls, anything you want to do, basically. Uh, this one has, those were plugins. You see these have USB, so you can do like um, the USB ports in your TV, your laptops, anything you want to do in your rooms and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go in there and try to mess around with this. All right, so yes, I have two mirrors because I'm too lazy to put one up. All right, so we have the app here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of change things around a little bit. And as you can see, you have basically the full functionality. Let's go purple, we'll go light blue, dark blue, orange, red. So you can do that, you got all the brightness levels you wanna do here as well. And then uh, you got the timer as well. You can see like it has all this connected, good to go. You can also shut it down right from your device here. Power off, power on. You can do music, so like it'll go with the music. As you can see, the music. All right, and then you get the scenes, different colors and stuff like that. It's still going with music because it's going with the sound that I'm currently making, which is kind of cool actually. So. 
Uh, we've checked this out. We've got it all on a TV. It's going to keep flashing as I'm talking, which I really don't mind about. You can see my reflection, my bed. Welcome to my bedroom tour as a side quest of this video. We're going to compile all this together, and then we're going to sit down, and we're going to ask that very important question. And we are back. So yeah, that is the Minger Dream Color LED light. Um, it was definitely pretty cool, but is pretty cool the question we want to know? No, it's not. The question we're looking to ask... Is it worth it? I'm going to say, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, $33.99 for the product. Now, I should, I'll pull back a little bit and say, yes, absolutely, if you want to have a totally cool lighting effect in your bedroom, in your studio, etc. I might even hang them up here. I'm not sure if that you know crazy lighting will be something that just goes with my, my channel very well. But if you uh, have channels that have lots of lighting and stuff like that, absolutely. I had a friend that I needed studio lighting, well not studio lighting, but cool lighting for like an 80s party, and like I gave her a bunch of lighting that I've tested and whatnot, but like that would be great for that as well. You could string it up and then have like your disco music or your 80s music or all that stuff would go and while the music's going with it. So you gotta remember the applications with it. Obviously the TV is cool, like, but if you have like music playing and you have like a party or something like that, that's insane. Like could you imagine putting that in your dorm room or even your, um, you're adoring your house, alpha, beta, whatever it is, and then having a bunch of those strung up and then basically having music on and they're blasting lights all over the place for $33.99. Now that was for the five meter one, which is obviously 15 feet of lighting, which is pretty awesome. And the package that I got obviously have some of the smaller ones as well, uh, which I believe are like around three meters or so, but the five meter one's the one that we tested out today. Now, again, thanks to our friends at Minger, um, I'm going to have a link to their Facebook page in the description where you can go and like their page for a chance to win your own set. So you don't have to worry about even buy one you could be a winner which is awesome um but i would probably rate this a eight and a half out of ten i rated an eight and a half because it just dawned on me about how awesome it would be to use that for parties halloween halloween parties stuff like that well halloween's over but like college dorm parties which college is hot right now and all that stuff is ever you know everyone's back in college i don't mean like college is hot but anyways uh everyone's back in school and all that good stuff so that dawned on me and that shot the score from probably like a seven and a half to eight and a half because i was like what would be the application for this other than tv and then i thought of that which is fantastic the only downfall I um, give it and why I'm knocking some off is that when you're turning around like a TV, it, it really is difficult to make a line. It's a pain in the butt to like, to, to turn it basically. Cause it's like a tape line. So it goes like this, you have to go like that, you have to go like that, you have to go like that. It's like a real big pain in the butt. But other than that, uh, I really do enjoy this product. And uh, next time uh, when I'm cool enough to have a bunch of friends and a party, then maybe I'll string that bad boy up and uh, everyone will come over. Right now, I don't uh, probably won't be doing that for a long time. But anyways, I definitely recommend uh, getting that product if you want some awesome lighting. Other than that, um, definitely appreciate you guys all watching, checking out this video, waiting so long for a new Is It Worth It video. Um, we got another Munch Pack unboxing coming next Thursday. And then Sunday, we're going to have another Is It Worth It product, which I have ready to go. And so we're probably gonna be pretty short gonna be short and sweet and bam 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 because i just want to check it out uh and then the following thursday i plan on going to new york uh anime con this friday coming up so I'll, maybe i'll make a video with that i'm not sure yet because those don't seem to be very popular with you people um but i will post those coming up so we got content coming for thursday and sunday some cool stuff and uh and then obviously from there so anyways thank you guys all once again for liking commenting, and subscribing and putting up with all of the craziness with what's going on with youtube right now and then my debbie downer attitude which i'll eventually uh be peppy as heck later on so you guys have a good one and i'll talk to you all on thursday now